It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I picked up my snooker cue on Wednesday night. I was about to go out the door and play snooker when my wife said, ah, we need to take our lovely daughter to the hospital. She has come up in a rash and the rash doesn't look very good. The doctors are quite concerned. So, boom, off we go in a car snooker cue went back behind the sofa and we went to the hospital now i i she had to go for a blood test and i i don't like um needles injections any of those sorts of things so um i took my wife and my daughter to the hospital i dropped them off because i knew where the heath hospital is in cardiff there's a wonderful bottle shop just round the corner uh, it, it's a super it's, it's like a it's like a kind of a general large corner shop if you like they sell bread and butter and cheese and all your daily chocolates and crisps that sort of thing eggs that sort of place but they've got a beer wall a giant beer wall that, that, that they just got some fantastic fantastic beers in from all around the world so it's literally next to the hospital, so I, dro I drove there, parked up, and, I, and I, I went in and I was looking at all of the beers and I realised that I've not had a bottle of Samuel Smith's beer for a long time. So I bought the whole range. I bought the whole range and I wanted to start off with their organic chocolate stout. Now some of you might have already seen me review this beer. It's already on the channel but it must be eight nine maybe even ten years since i last tried this beer and i wanted to try it again i want to drink it again i want to experience it again because samuel smith's are a brewery of fantastic traditions they really do it, this is a you won't see many beers bottled beers in the uk at 550 millilitres I haven't got another bottle round here to show you, but it's 50 millilitres more. That means it's over, it's, it's, it's more or less bang on a pint. It's more or less a pint bottle of beer. Tadcaster, North Yorkshire at the Samuel Smith Old Brewery. There's the bottle cap. Without further ado then, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get not looking for any kind of sympathy please don't comment is your daughter okay and all of those things i'm not I, I didn't come here for sympathy today this was just an introduction as to why one minute in your life you're jumping on a train to play snooker the next minute the next hour you find yourself in a bottle shop buying a bottle of Samuel Smith's organic chocolate stout. That was the whole point of the introduction to the video. Yeah, Ooh, look at that, look at that. Three finger tan coloured head. Jet black beer in the glass, 5% ABV. So what did I buy? I bought from Sam, oh, from Samuel Smith, from the bottle shop. It's called Discount Drinks. Discount, the Discount Supermarket on Whitchurch Road, Cardiff. <clears throat> Pardon me. I bought their organic lager. I bought their vice beer, wheat beer. I bought something else as well. I might have bought the oatmeal stout as well. I bought about four or five different beers from Samuel Smith. They were, they were about £2.50 to £3 a bottle. Unbelievable value for money. It really is. Let's get the aroma then. Oh yeah, rich, lovely. Oaty. Biscuity, bready, chocolatey. Mm. Wonderful. Oh, wow.
smells fantastic. Such a rich, lovely, chocolatey aroma. I mean, I, I can't remember my first review. I, I, I know I did it. I know I reviewed it. I can't remember if I loved it, thought it was okay. Let's, uh, let's go again. See what I think about it probably 10 years later. It's got this slight, it's almost like bubblegum chocolate. It's almost like the chocolate you get in, from a pound shop. And I really like it for that. It's got that kind of like, whether I'm, whether I'm backing up the wrong tree, but it's got that kind of like, cheap stocking filler chocolate pound shop chocolate that you won't find anywhere else you know you know you know galaxy and cadbury's and now that company from company from the netherlands what are they called they're, they're dominating they're dominating the chocolate world but years ago you know the old chocolate footballs the old foil wrap cheap chocolate you could buy it's got that kind of slightly cheap chocolate taste to it and I really like it for that I really do it's rich it's slightly biscuity it's slightly oaty it's got this kind of like wholemeal bread taste to it it's got a lovely creamy rich medium mouthfeel to the beer that's just absolutely decadent and delightful but i can't get away from the cheap the cheap you know the little cheap bags of netted footballs you can buy in a pound shop at christmas time to chuck in the stock in that i love it i i i would love because you're supporting you're supporting more of a kind of an independent company rather than Sticking some cheap, are they even 10p anymore? Last time I bought a Freddo, they were 10p. You know, rather than buying a load of Cadbury's Freddos to stick in a stocking at Christmas time, you go, you go to the pound shop, you buy a, a netted bag of... <laughs> I, I've even seen Brussels sprout kind of like chocolate all things and yeah it's just it's Christmas isn't it I, I, for me cheap chocolate is the taste of Christmas because my grandfather used to blimmin oh god he used to he used to buy the whole Brazil nuts and walnuts in 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 cho dip chocolate but they're always like from independent companies they were never from Cadbury's or galaxy or you know mars that sort of thing it was always it was always like that just cheap chocolate taste which is in this beer but i love it it reminds me of being a child but i'm 44 drinking a five percent chocolate stout version of it Will I buy it again? What I will say is, if you're into these decadent, sweet, chocolatey stouts, then you will love this. You will love this. For me, yeah, it's one of those ones I probably buy at Christmas time. I probably buy a bottle to drink while watching Die Hard at Christmas Eve. It would be my Christmas beer of choice on Christmas Eve. Throughout the year, I'd probably drink their wheat beer a little bit more. I'd probably drink their oatmeal stout a little bit more. 
the organic lager. I'd probably drink that a little bit more. I like their lager. It's good. Uh, yeah, this is this is for me. This is what a once a year Christmas style beer. It, 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 you know, that's just me being perfectly honest. So I'm going to rate it. Uh, uh, brewed with well water, the original well sunk in 1758 is still in use with the hard water drawn from 80 feet, 85 feet underground. The gently roasted organic chocolate malt and organic cocoa extract impart a delicious, smooth and creamy character with inviting deep flavours and a delightful finish. This is the perfect marriage of satisfying stout and luxurious chocolate. Best served at about 11 degrees. Perfect. This beer has been stood at this bar table in front of me. It might, have, might as well have been stood here in this conservatory all night. So I probably drank the beer at its. It's currently saying 15 degrees on the thermometer, but it drops with a conservatory. It drops to seven. When I come down in the morning, it's seven degrees. So seven, seven and seven is 14. It, I, I, I'm probably, it's got a warm up, haven't it? The beer's got a warm up. So I'm probably drinking it at about 11 degrees. I like it enough to give it, I'm gonna say seven out of 10, seven out of 10. Um, it, it's one of those decadent, slightly delightful dessert beers that um, probably didn't even know it was a dessert beer until until I'm drinking it today. This is leaning towards kind of like vocation style dessert beers, if, if you like, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. So it's a Christmas one for me, a Christmas one for me. But I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.